Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If it's your first time checking out to the Divine's channel, what is up? I am Amy. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. So this is what is needed to be heard by spirit. This is the other thing that I'm going to be offering as I feel like some of us just need some extra guidance in our life. So, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm not even sick, but some of you could be... Um, having some problems with um, your chest, you could be having problems with breathing, um, you could be having COVID, the, if, um, the effects of COVID. I had COVID, me, my kids had COVID about what, a month ago now, and I'm still um, feeling the effects of it, so. Anyways, so this is the deck that I will be using every time I do this reading because it's literally spirit messages. So I have a few cards ahead of me, so I'm just going to go into this reading, guys. Please hit that like button, please. Please hit that subscribe button. Okay, so we have relationships coming up for your first message today. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth, okay? So... Kind of what this is telling me is that spirits want you to um, reconnect a relationship with yourself. You know, have you been in a place where maybe you're not um, loving yourself enough? Maybe you're not treating yourself properly, taking care of yourself properly? Because I feel like at the end of the day, if we're not taking care of our own needs and our own wants... Um, we cannot give from an empty cup, okay? And Spirit is really stressing that this morning, saying that, you know, you have to take care of you. You know, you might have responsibilities of work, job, kids, spouses, family, but none of that even matters if you are not here. None of that even matters if you are not 100%. So some of you really need to check the relationship you have with yourself, Um I don't really get like this is needing to check the relationship you have with other people. I feel like definitely this is a self-reflecting card today about really needing to go within and do something for you today. All right. We have serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. Look at how, look at how that just worked like that, right? This is why I do what I do. This is why I love what I do because I, I get to be on here and, and I get to tell you guys um, whether you take the advice or not, but the fact that I get to say, you know, you need to be taking care of yourself, and then spirit comes up with the same thing just like that, right? You know, this is definitely a message of that. You know, you need to be putting yourself a priority, and if people don't accept that, if people don't like that, then that is on them, right? But you are just or more than enough and as important as anyone else that you're dealing with or connecting with. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today, okay? So whatever, <laughs> which is interesting, right? Because in my other videos, I've been talking about how um, I went to someone for guidance and they ended up calling me a copycat and it literally really actually hurt me yesterday because I am not a copycat. I do, I'm not out here copying other tarot readers. I am who I am. You either like me, you love me, or you don't, and that's fine. Um, and it, like, it literally bugged me to the point that it was like really bugging me. And a lot of close people that I talked to were telling me like, you know, to let it go, that, you know, to shrug it off, that, you know, one person's opinion is one person's opinion, right? Um, and I feel like because I was able to tell myself, you know what, I know in my heart that I'm not. So whether this lady was going through issues or she was having a bad day, who knows? She tried to project her negative energy on me and I didn't take it. Um, I did take it in a way, yes, but I, I give it back because I'm at that point where I know who I am and I know what I'm capable of and I feel like Spirit is kind of saying the same thing, that whatever has been going on the last couple of days, if that happened rough or negative, Spirit says, you know, 
work through your feel work through your emotions work through your feelings for sure don't keep them bottled up but make sure that you are um not letting the past destroy your present you know the future is not even here yet so i don't even want to talk about the future but it's really important to to not let the opinions of other people bring you down today the opinions of other people from yesterday bring you down you know remember to rebuild that relationship with yourself we have light imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light because in reality that's precisely what you are you're a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance this is a time to remember how viral, vibrant you truly are there is a light about you okay and and I think because you don't see your own worth, you don't see your own value, you don't see how lovable you are, how, how for whatever you do, whatever way you do it, um, Spirit is saying, you are much wanted, you're much needed, you have a light and an aura about you that is so beautiful that that you don't realize how, in, how you are impacting people in a good way. Right? Because you, you don't see that within yourself. And Spirit really wants you to see that within yourself. Spirit wants you to see how lovable you are. Spirit wants you to see how amazing you are. Okay? It says, have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytic minds and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. Okay? So when was the last time you just had fun, you know, laughed, smiled, you know, got out of the stresses and the negative energy and just enjoyed yourself. You know, Spirit says like laughter is part of building yourself up. Laughter is a part of so growth. Laughter is a part of, you know, just saying, I'm not going to let every little thing bug me anymore. You know, I'm going to do what I'm going to do because it makes me happy, you know, and if people don't accept that, then that's on them you know but you need to be moving forward and you know rebuilding yourself up from whatever has been trying to bring you down and you know that starts with you rebuilding that relationship with yourself okay embrace the moment embrace this day this very moment think positively today and repel those negative thoughts try not to judge yourself or others this may be harder than you think what is actually happening is that you're changing your energy okay not a lot of people get to go with you and you know why? Because not a lot of people are meant to go with you. A lot of people, the light that you show off, a lot of people can't handle that. And that's okay because they're not supposed to. A lot of people won't get you. And that's okay because it's not their journey to get. It's yours. Okay? Nature. This is a time to observe the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revelation, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. Now, nature is the best thing for you right now. Now, even if it's just a little walk here and there, I know spring is right around the corner, not too long away. So it's just about getting yourself prepared, do some spring cleaning in the house, um, take time to just enjoy. Enjoy some, like, time alone. I don't know if that makes any sense for someone, but it's like, enjoy this time alone. Enjoy how strong you really are and i know that when we're always helping other people we don't really see how strong we are and i feel like spirit is just saying like you are so strong they wish you would see how strong you really are synchronicities are you noticing the signs of synchronicities that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time people and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence in reality they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason all right so this is angel numbers this is feathers coins this is you know electronics going crazy like your spirit world your angels they're trying to connect with you they're trying to tell you you know there, there could be certain people that are around you right now that are again divinely guided they're they're brought to you for a reason okay and trust is last card while your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path the logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar but you could be missing out on a boundless opportunity and so much more okay so trust trust that even though some stuff may not make sense right now spirit is saying if you just take a risk if you just take a leap on something if if you just 
trust in your angels when you get those signs you will be directed to the opportunities that are coming your way all right hopefully this helps you guys thank you for coming on please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button and i will talk to you soon